Hey, welcome back to Cooking Around's channel. And again, what do we have for you today? We have for you a Greek wedding soup. Absolutely awesome. Just perfect for those weddings. And you know the Greeks like to celebrate their weddings with a lot of food, a lot of good food. So let's get going with one of their popular dishes. Now grab your mixing bowl and here I have about a little more than half a pound of ground beef and half a pound of lamb. And yes, I did grind this myself so I know it's fresh, I know it's awesome. Add two to three cloves of garlic, minced just like this. You can add a little bit more if you are more on the brave side. And to hold it all together, one egg. Just drop it in just like this. And now here comes the fresh ground pepper and I like it fresh. Now you can add as much as you want. Here I'm adding about half a teaspoon but like I said add it more if you want. Also at this time add one third cup of breadcrumbs. Now here I'm adding one tablespoon of dry parsley but you know you can use fresh if you want but I find this works better in the mixture. Add two tablespoons of your favorite virgin olive oil. Now here comes the fun part. Get your hands well washed and yes you're going to use your hands and I want you to start mixing that all around just like this. And now I want you to add one quarter cup of feta cheese and we start mixing it all again. Now try to break the cheese up as much as possible. And don't worry if there's large pieces, it just makes it taste even better. So this is what we want. Okay, we're back. Grab yourself an extra plate, put a little breadcrumbs on there, grab yourself your meat and grab a tablespoon. This will be your measurement. Grab a heaping amount of meat like that squeeze it a little bit like this and then start to roll. If your hands start to stick just rub a little cooking oil into your hands and that will prevent the sticking and this is what we want. Okay they're all done so I shall be back. Get now a heavy deep fry pan and now I want you to add eight cups of chicken stock. Now here I'm using low sodium and now I want you to basically Cover it and bring it into a boil and we shall be back. Okay, it's almost to a boil. So let's try to keep it on medium heat and I want the water now to be simmering. I don't really want it boiling over. And now I want you to grab a spatula like this, put the meatball in like this and just drop it very slowly like this because I don't want you to break it. So let's get all the other ones inside like this and I shall be back. Okay we're done. Now I want you to add here one cup of or so pasta and add it just like this. Bring it all around. Now it's very important to keep it stirred very well now at this point because I do not want it to stick. So now let's cover it, bring it to a boil and leave it for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, look at that. Absolutely awesome. And the aroma and the pasta is perfect. Now let's give it a taste test. Well, for me, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, let's bring it up a notch. Let's add one tablespoon of lemon rind. And let's add about two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And this is what is going to bring out the full flavor of this soup. Okay, here comes the green onions now. We're going to add about a quarter of a cup. Now, if you really like it, add more. Okay, let's herb it up a notch. Let's add one tablespoon of oregano. And just look how that is coming. Look at all those colors. Yummy, yummy. Now let's add more colors. Let's add about half a cup full of parsley. Any kind of parsley you want. Just take a look at this. This is going to be absolutely awesome. Now once again, and I promised the last time, let's cover it and let it go for about two to three minutes. 
okay here's the end result let's take a look oh does that ever look awesome if only we had smell a video this would be awesome now grab yourself your wedding plate has to be white i don't know what what the white thing is all the time but let's make it white and let's just take one of these delicious meatballs with the cheese and the sauce and the pasta and let's just put let's say what three per serving i don't know maybe you're a four kind of person i don't know and just take a look at that it's absolutely awesome now let's add some fresh mint to it this makes it come out the lamb absolutely perfect now all i can say now is thank you very much for allowing me to present this to you and i'll see you again on my next cooking video thank you and goodbye